Hello my dear students, warmly welcome to Ape ICT Panthia YouTube channel. Today we are going to do grade 8 ICT lesson 2. Configuring and formatting a computer. And this is the third video for this lesson. Previously I have uploaded two videos for this lesson. So my dear students, please go and watch those two videos and then continue with this third video before moving to today's lesson please subscribe teachers channel and also share these videos with your friends so in previous two lessons we discussed uh, what is the importance of uh, date formatting a date time zone time currency and number in your computer then we learn how to do it mean how to format the date format the time zone currency and the number so in the first video you can see how to uh, do the changes in your computer then we discuss about the file attributes select a file right click on the file then go to properties then you can find the file attributes there are many file attributes from that we discuss about the important file attribute that's file permission there are two main important file permissions they are read only and hidden then we discuss about how to search a file so today we have to start a new topic troubleshooting and maintenance of a computer when we discuss about the computer computer consists of hardware software and liveware from that problems can be occur due to hardware and software so problems related to computers mainly there are two types hardware related problems software related problems you know uh, in grade 7 also we discuss about the software classification so softwares may be um, softwares mainly divided into two parts as system software and the application software so when we concern about the software related problems there are two types application software related problems and operating system related problems so while you are watching the video please pause the video and write down notes in necessary points right uh, so first let's learn about the hardware related problems so to identify the problems related to hardware it is essential to identify the faults used for the connections so to identify the problems hardware problems first we need to have a good understanding about the computer ports so by using these ports we can connect devices it means hardware devices to the computer so let's identify these ports ps2 port we use this ps2 port for uh, connect keyboard and mouse but in today computers in modern computers uh, we are using usb port to connect keyboard and mouse then vga video graphic adapter port the monitor with vga connection so we use this vga port to connect your monitor then dvi port dvi port also used for connecting the monitor then HDMI port HDMI is used to connect a television set instead of the monitor cables that are connected to this port can input and output both audio and video yes by using HDMI port you can connect monitors projectors so you can use VGA and DVI ports to connect the monitor too but there's a difference so when we use VGA ports we can only uh, transmit audios but when we uh, connect to HDMI we can transmit both audios and videos then USB port 
you know about this part for all the devices with USB type connections then RJ45 Ethernet port we use it for the internet connection it mean to do your networking parts then eSATA port eSATA port is used for uh, used to connect any external storage devices and also uh, HD video port right it's used for high quality sound uh, so in old computers uh, there were three ports but modern computers you can see six ports then display port to provide higher performance in connecting digital display devices when compared to uh, VGA and DVI port then parallel port so we use this parallel port to connect printers but uh, mo in modern printers they use USB cable so by using a USB cable now we can connect it into our uh, monitors or computers right then micro USB port connect smart devices such as mobile phones MP players photo printers and digital cameras then our last one is the card reader right uh, we use this reader to read the SD cards so usually we can find this part in tab computers or a laptop so you have to identify these ports to which port we have to connect this device to which port we have to connect printer to which port we have to connect a mother uh, monitor to which port we have to connect our router so you have to identify the port and the relevant device so then you can minimize many hardware problems so to identify the problems related to hardware it is essential to identify the computer ports correctly so now you know the computer ports so let's go to the next part examples for hardware problems the computer does not function the keyboard does not function the mouse does not work the monitor does not function the speakers do not function then the uh, network connections does not work so these are the most common hardware problems problem one the computer does not function so what's the solution you have to check whether the, all the cables connect in properly and you have to check the main port of power supply so at first to check the cable connectivity you have to disconnect power supply from the wall socket then next after disconnecting the main power supply then check whether the plug to the uh, UPS is properly connected check whether cable to the computer from the UPS is connected properly so you have to check whether the cable uh, plug to the USB uh, UPS properly or then check whether cable to the computer from UPS is connected properly if they are not connected please connect them properly step check whether the cables connecting the computer and the monitor to the UPS are connected properly so you have to check the uh, power cable and also you have to check the VGA cable so next as the fourth step if all the above items are connected properly then power on the UPS from the main supply last step next switch on the computer it most likely to get started if it not works in you have to seek for a technical support so 
uh, when your computer is not working what you have to do is you have to check the cable connection to check your cable connection at first you have to disconnect the main power supply then check the cables connected to the ups then ups to system unit then uh, system unit to monitor second problem second hardware problem the keyboard and mouse does not work solution one the first step you have to do is you have to restart the computer check whether the keyboard or a mouse is activated if your keyboard or a mouse is not working as a first solution please restart your computer then uh, your keyboard or a mouse will work but if the first solution is not working then you have to go for a second solution shut down the computer and connect the cables properly to the port again restart your computer then check your cable connection it means uh, again disconnect and connect the mouse and the keyboard to the computer then again restart your computer then it may work third problem the monitor does not function when your mo monitor is not working as the first solution you have to check whether the power button of the monitor is switched on or not check whether the power button on the monitor is switched on or not if it's off you have to switch on then sometime your monitor will work if the solution one is not functioning then go to the second solution your second solution is restarting the computer the monitor should work upon restart sometime after restarting the monitor will work will function oh, your second solution also not working then go to the third solution when you restart the computer but your monitor is not working then go to the third solution check the cables connecting to the ports may be vga dvi hdmi or display ports uh, when we learn about ports we discuss about vga dvi hdmi or display port so we can use one of any port to connect the monitor so it's better to check the cable connectivity so this is these are the vga hdmi and dvi ports and how to connect your uh, cables to that port so as the third step you have to check the uh, cable connectivity although it's not working as the fourth solution check the connectivity of the power supply cable to the monitor although your third solution is not working then go to the fourth solution you have to check the power supply to the monitor uh, if you follow all these four steps but your monitor is not working then it's better to take technical support right then the fourth solution fourth problem the speakers not functioning so uh, when you play a video or a sound uh, or a song but you can't hear the sound uh, in that case as the first solution you have to check the speakers by increasing the volume to the higher level you have to increase the volume by using speakers as the first step you have to increase the volume from volume controller in the speakers sometime then uh, your speaker will function but if it is not working then you have to increase the volume by your computer 
second solution check whether the volume is minimized by the operating system you have to check whether the speaker's volume is minimized by the operating system if yes you have to increase it to do that you have to go to the uh, right bottom corner of your screen then you can see a icon of the speaker or a loud uh, loudspeaker then click on it then you can increase or decrease the volume of the speakers right then uh, in this instance you have to increase the volume then you go to the right bottom corner of the taskbar then you can see a speaker icon then click on it then you can increase the volume of the speakers by operating system if this second solution also not working go to the third solution uh, third solution is you have to check the cables connected to the your computer and the speakers right so uh, these are the ports if your sound system has a optical digital audio technology uh, you need only one cable to connect right if not you need two cables to connect so you can identify the uh, audio ports so when you go to grade 9 you will learn the ports one by one uh, if the uh, last solution if the audio device is not properly installed it has to be installed correctly sometime uh, you have to install the uh, audio device driver but sometime it's not installed properly in that case you have to uninstall it at and install it properly then you can hear the voice it means you can hear the sound our next hardware problem is the connection problem or network connections does not work so um, we have identified the rj45 port and this is the rj45 connector so as the first solution we have to check the connection we have to connect all the uh, cables it means network cable properly to your computer uh, after you check your network cables although uh, the network connection does not work then follow the second solution second solution is uh, right click on the computer icon at the bottom right of the taskbar then you can get a menu as uh, you can get a menu from that menu click the option troubleshoot then you go to the uh, right bottom corner of the screen uh, you, now I am connecting to the Wi-Fi therefore you can see a Wi-Fi icon if not you can see a network icon here right click on it then uh, click this troubleshoot problem option from today video we discuss about hardware related problems so if this video is useful for you please share this video with your friends and put a comment below in the next video we can discuss about the software related problems so let's meet with again with a new video goodbye all of you